What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London, another daily video blog, and today is the day that my Team Ironman, Audi R8, gets another partner in the Army Tricks world. The second one in the UK gets filmed. There's my one down there. Still hasn't moved, collecting dust. Um, and today, SB are fitting another Army Tricks exhaust system to an Audi R8 V8 Spider, which I mentioned yesterday. So make sure you head over to their YouTube channel as well to check out the full video of what I'm about to give you a little teaser on today. And uh, we'll also talk about what's to come in more detail. There's the phone, it always goes when I'm filming. But anyway, I'm gonna give you a little bit more details about what's gonna be coming in the next two to three weeks. Um, what I touched upon yesterday and the day before. So today is gonna be a really, really cool insight into what's gonna be coming to Supercars of London. Looking around in a bush waiting for the Army Tricks R8. V8 Spider to come back off its road test just so that I can catch a little bit of the sound. Uh, it's so hot outside. Um, I'm just hanging by the side of the road as I do in London anyway to uh, wait for this car to come back because um, it sounds amazing. And with the dual clutch as well on the Estronic 2014 model of the R8, it just sort of like has an awesome crackle about it. Army Tricks 1, Army Tricks 2. It's an Army Tricks party. Oh, it's hot. It is so hot in here. The first time that I've started my car up in a couple of days, I'm just wanting to let it run, let the oils and let the everything else that's in the engine uh, run, warm up, just so that it's not left for a period of like two weeks when the car has not started and it'll become a bit of a barn find. Too much dust, um, too much dust and uh, lots of stagnant uh, parts in the engine. So it's nice to have another Army Tricks partner, partner in crime, and this time it's a V8 convertible that SB have fitted, which um, is amazing, and um, hopefully you'll be able to pick up the sound um, in my video, in my video blog, but also, of course, on SB's YouTube channel, there's gonna be some more revs, um, and definitely a startup of the, of, the, of the car. Sounds amazing. I can't imagine what it sounds like with the convertible, with the roof down, because this, with the windows open, I'm losing a bit of, losing air. Oh my God, it's so hot. Can I put the uh, air con on? Not sure whether that makes a difference or not. Oh yes, it does. Whilst I'm at it, I might as well give you a quick update, uh, a bit of a teaser on what I've been filming this week, uh, which is going to be going out next week whilst I'm on holiday. Um, I'll also be tweeting and Instagramming, of course, whilst I'm out there, hopefully see some cool supercars. Um, but to begin with, uh, I have been filming uh, my watch video today, uh, the Star Remix Custom Team Iron Man watch, which, uh, as you can see there, um, it, what I mentioned in a couple of video blogs earlier was the fact that this watch is apparently really durable that you can drive over it. So uh, today we're going to be driving over the watch. We haven't done it yet because the watch is intact, but I'm sure the watch will, st will stay intact. Um, I've spoken to the guys at Star Remix and they say that um, it's very, very durable. The Gadget Show actually drove over the watch in a car. So why not give it a go? It'll make an interesting video. I'm just walking around the SB Race Engineering office so you guys can uh, have a look around whilst you're uh, listening to some of the updates that I'm bringing you so yep the watch video is going to be uh, recorded soon I'm also going to bring you a interesting video and a, a bit of a debate on um, 
the hypercar battle. I'm going to be bringing you a video on the LaFerrari, the 918 and the P1s that I've been filming recently to start the debate on which car is the best because when I get back from Portugal and Monaco, my Prata della Strada tour to Monaco, then I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of all three of those cars in London for me to film. So let's get the debate started um, for when this video goes out on what's better, the 918 McLaren P1 or Ferrari LaFerrari. We'll go on the looks, the sound and the performance um, and the technology because technology is a big part of the um, new supercar generation that's coming um, to the world in uh, recent months so that's some of the videos to come of course we've got the reaction video which you're all anticipating which is absolutely epic maybe I'll put a little bit of a teaser in this video blog for We'll see, you might have to wait till the end of this video. So let's drop the camera down because my arm is killing me and I'll give you an update um, on one of the things that I discussed in the video blog which is the Parata della Strada tour to Monaco. Right, let's sit down. Is this a good angle? Not at all. Not a good angle. At the beginning of the week, um, in the video blog, I mentioned of a few um, exciting announcements to make on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. So I thought, being Friday, uh, we could have a bit of cool and exciting news about one of the tours, about one of the announcements uh, that I mentioned on the Monday. So we'll start with the Parata della Strada Monaco tour. Um, if you guys have been following Supercars of London for the past five years or whatever, um, in 2012, I think it was, I went to Monaco for the Top Marks event um, and the supercar scene, uh, the red t-shirt was created, a limited edition for that event which you would have seen in a lot of my videos ever since, including my first supercar. And Parata della Strada have been the, the driving force behind the clothing of the Supercars of London and Supercar Scene website, which um, has been a very, very influential um, sponsorship for the company and um, Parata della Strada are an American based company where, uh, but their all of their clothes are manufactured in Italy. I'm wearing one of the classics today, this is one of my favourites um, and if you've watched my first supercar and every single video that I'm in I'm probably wearing a Parata della Strada t-shirt so the idea behind the Monaco tour is I'm going to head out to Monaco uh, with Parata della Strada, uh, video blog, document and of course film the super cars that are out there so it's going to be an amazing trip I hope to bring you a lot of really exciting and exclusive content some of the world's most exclusive and amazing cars are out in Monaco two years ago uh, I filmed the Porsche 918 prototype I filmed the, the likes of the GT Spano um, Zondas uh, Ferraris Lamborghinis I think like one in three cars out there is like a Ferrari it's absolutely insane um, that's just a statistic I made up. So it's not <laughs> one in three cars as a Ferrari. I wish it was, but it seems that in Monaco, because it's so much smaller, the supercars are a lot more concentrated compared to London, where you may have to walk a couple of miles to see the next Lambo or whatever. Um, but top marks this year looked absolutely insane, uh, an event that I sadly missed. Uh, but they had LaFerraris, they had Lexus LFAs, they had a lot of tuned supercars. So I'm really hoping that in July, high season, uh, uh, during the summer holidays is going to be some amazing supercars. So once I get back from Portugal, I'll be in central London for about a week and I'll be bringing you some cool videos, some of the action that's happening in central London, but also giving you some informative videos on what is happening with my Audi R8 when it's back on the road and also, of course, the health check, the post Gumball 3000 health check. And I'll be in central London for about a week before I head off with Parata della Strada to Monaco at the end of July, which I'm really excited about. Some really cool action to come on that. Um, so I thought that today, uh, being Friday, could have, it would have been a good opportunity to talk to you about Monaco. Uh, the weather outside is so hot, and I'm hoping that the weather in Portugal and Monaco stays as hot, um, and we get to see some awesome cars. I can catch us some awesome videos and bring you guys um, some insane videos for YouTube. So this week, um, make sure that you stay tuned for the reaction video. Of course, the video of me driving over the watch, which I still haven't done. 
it's still intact. I'm sure it's still gonna stay intact. Um, but I'm gonna be filming that later. So if you don't see any photos on Instagram of my watch for the next week or so, it's because it broke while I was driving over it. <laughs> Um, but there's some really, really exciting stuff to come. And of course, the hypercar debate. So make sure that you subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.